everyone this is Danish again with the chill vlog I haven't done this kind of like car vlog for a long time I like this because it's a little bit more people can like uh, relate to these things when you talk to them right so here's the thing I wanted to expand on my last video about the cloud remember I told you that how cloud is taking over and I showed an example the whole rack is gone servers are gone and cloud is taking over then I said something how there's good news for help these people you know, back in the days, if you take us t 10 years ago, uh, you know, and like, you know, that timing when we were going for IT education, there were only few uh, platforms that were providing education and, and it was good. You know, people were following that and that mentality of these type of, uh, you know, roles out there like help desk, desktop support was a lot of hardware stuff. So people actually kind of got annoyed with that. You know, people didn't like it. Uh, but with time, the technology changed, right? 10 years is a long time in technology. And cloud kind of came over, think about Office 365, and you see the job descriptions changed a lot. Back in the days, the job descriptions for help desk and interior level positions were a lot of hardware stuff. You need to know about monitors, you need to buy changing RAM, uh, you know, stuff like that, hard disk, stuff like that, right? That still hasn't changed, but it got minimized. I mean, things are shrinked hardware specific like you know back in the days look at that we had the cpus were monsters heavy cpus we were lifting those stuff and now the cpus are like this small you know they're like small machines right there so so the job of help desk is becoming more and more cloudish that's true 100 percent in some in few years you're going to find a lot of applications that are going to be on the cloud but are you gonna lose your job? Is automation the thing? Is it is it a thing for the help desk? Trust me, do not worry about it right now. <laughs> we are, people who are in IT right now can see things, right? They For them, they can see things if they're like a little bit uh, worried and they're doing research. So yes, cloud is taking over. There's no, there's no uh, question about that. There's gonna be, the companies who are not utilizing cloud are also like thinking, uh, their executives are thinking. So it can happen anytime. They can have a vendor come in and then they can change the whole game for you in, in a month or two or three months. They can change it like that, right? Somebody can bring a good solution for them. And if they see money is being saved, which it is in cloud right now, people are going to move. It's just a matter of time. But are you going to lose your job? And how are you going to lose your job? And who should be really worried about in this whole game of, oh, the help this is getting automated, so what do I do? You know, you should be worried about if you are thinking that, I'm gonna learn about the hardware stuff and I'm just gonna learn about how to fix the operating system. And then when you land a job and when you go and start working in these jobs, you're gonna find out that, wow, operating system is just a small piece of my job. I need to know about this whole access on Office 365, giving people emails, tracking emails. And I need to know about these applications now that they're using in the companies. Companies are making money off, out of CMS systems and stuff like that. That's how all these businesses are running, right? They're not running on operating system, by the way. If somebody tells you that you just need to know about the operating system and you're good to go, no, that's not at all. That's where you should be really worried about. If that's your uh, you know, approach towards uh, getting these jobs or you know you're being in this job then and you're worried about automation then you should be really worried about why because none of this stuff the hardware stuff is gonna go away I mean people are gonna minimize people are gonna go to small factors people are gonna go to uh, small equipments shrinking their data centers saving their money that's where people are gonna go for but are you gonna lose your job and are you, you should be worried about automation automation is a long story right now for you first try to get in First, my, my my answer to people is like this. Are you transitioning into IT right now or are you looking into starting an IT career in two or three months? Then automation shouldn't be a thing for you. At this position right now, we're still doing uh, some of the hardware stuff. We're still doing a lot of Office 365. We're touching cloud left and right right now. So yes, you need to get in right now. If you are a student and you're like in ninth grade and you're like thinking, what am I going to do after five years? You shouldn't even consider help this for a, for a job. You should be really thinking ahead of something. Uh, I mean, you can even get a job in a few years, like as an intern, as an intern, even with a very young age. We have done that. And then you should be really thinking about something very, like, you know, advanced stuff. Maybe learn Python right now. If you have that 10 years or five years of thinking right now and you have, your, you have no worries about jobs, you shouldn't be worried about help this at this point. That's a wrong approach. Look for something more advanced 
this is for the people like that but most of our members most of our people or viewers or who who are transitioning into IT who are new brand new to IT and then they're getting this information from somewhere that things are getting automated and they see some automations happening right now is not the time for you right now is for you to get into IT and it, it can only take three to four months to, for you to get into IT so stop worrying too much about this automation stuff that's not happening anytime soon right now and if it happens it's gonna it's gonna start hitting all these customer service area first then you will start looking in your company if they are going to come they're going to start utilizing uh, you know applications that are um, save, uh, like you know making your job easy then that's good for you because then you can focus more on other things and that's why the other things are what cloud specific informations look for the cloud administrations look into more azure look into more aws the reason i'm so much pushy on this because i see a million dollar uh, applications were like you know we were using in the companies are now moved to their the cloud databases they don't they don't even use servers they don't even use like operating system they're using servers as serverless stuff i don't want you to get into that stuff right now right now for you if you want to get into help desk just get in get your foot in so then you can clearly see the picture in that company the other companies then the picture gets clear to you why are we confident in our career what what make what gives us that uh, you know like the ability for me to talk to you what is that it's just that we have seen things we're we have seen things that we're telling you that look don't worry too much about automation right now first get in get your foot inside the door once you have the clarity of each and every role in your companies and later on you may switch to three other companies and then you see the security guy does this network engineer does this uh, the aws or the azure cloud uh, engineer does this systems administrator is doing this and the help desk is basically what i am then you will have a clear cut understanding of this career right now in the beginning i know a lot of you are brand new to it and this stuff is definitely worrying for you but you just gotta you just gotta give it a try right you gotta get practical at some place you gotta take the risk either you're taking a risk on your own by getting into some kind of study mode and doing your own labs and investing that energy that's also a risk or you gotta come to our platform something like where we teach people like okay let us teach you what is going on in this current world what kind of positions can you apply from our training stuff like that you gotta take a risk money is involved in that and then if you are not doing this you may have to follow some other youtube channel or anything anywhere you feel like you're more comfortable you're getting the information do that but you gotta do it you gotta take that step right now because later on you're gonna get into another dilemmas of what should i learn about you know automation and that it takes you away from your own route you're going to become more of a developer than when you start thinking about that kind of stuff and then you will realize that whoa there are still so many other jobs for next 10 years they're going to be in the same positions right you just have to kind of of course uh, you know uh, take smart decisions basically at the end it's a very confusing topic and it will it will require me to create a lot of videos on this and i will be making more videos on this to make this very clear image in people like in people's mind that when they come to our platform a lot of people like jump left and right left and right here and there i want to do automation i want to become a security guy i want to become a network engineer i want to become a sysadmin but you know people don't give you that clear uh, you know that clear path because a lot of people are trying to make money right they say oh yeah you want to become a network engineer come let me show you network engineering yeah yeah you will learn everything you'll become a network engineer in our platform it doesn't work like that we tell people that network engineer security positions uh, cloud uh, all this stuff is advanced stuff if you want to get into IT normally and quickly and easily, then that's helped us. That's the entry level stuff. It, is it stressful in the beginning? Yes, it is. You're working with people. It's a customer service job. That's a reality of this job. But if you do it smartly, you can get away from that job in six to seven months or one year and you're good to go. That's how we all did it. We all enjoy our life. We all love IT. We, well, most of the YouTubers out there, uh, when they have these channels, they, they're doing this. They're doing this based on their passion, their love for IT, right? Why are they doing that? they should be probably telling you not to come to IT career but we're we're not those type of people who are going to spend 15 years in IT make all that money in IT and then later on we're going to tell you no 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 this is a pretty bad position don't come over here while I made my house my car my nice car and everything family everything is from IT positions I made all that and now I'm being so uh, selfish that I don't want to tell the reality to people that this is the job this is the career that made my life that changed my life so that's a reality guys be practical 
at the end I'm gonna just say be practical and start with something small and the small if you want to get into IT then just start with the help desk. later on make your own decisions if you don't like it go to another career make that kind of approach it's very much practical but I'm not saying if you if you totally hate help desk, totally hate working with users, totally hate working with operating systems, Office 365, if you totally hate it, then focus on networking, security system, security administration or whatever, then focus on and target that area like aggressively, crazily, like, you know, go for internships that can directly place you into those type of position, which is hard, but it's doable. Anything is doable in IT. That's the, my, my last comment to you. Just be practical. Thank you.